Hi, this is Chris Davis for Android Community and Slash Gear, and I've just come out of HTC's Vive demo. Uh, this is the company's new uh, virtual reality headset made in uh, collaboration with Valve. Uh, they're running through a demo program here at Mobile World Congress 2014, and I've literally just walked out of the door a few minutes ago. We weren't able to film the demo itself uh, just because the room is set up uh, and they're not kind of showing that yet. It's not actually commercially available until later in the year. This is the headset, this is Vive. Um, as you can see, it has a variety of different sensors on the front, and that works with two different laser transmitters which are mounted up in the corners of the room. And they fire out different lasers and map not only where the headset's looking, so they know where you're looking, but uh, the, the handheld controllers, which kind of, I don't have one with me, but if you imagine like a stick with um, a, a rose almost of studded with these sensors on top. And you hold one of those in each of your hands and you look through here at the back and just like we've seen from Oculus for instance or um, Sony's VR headset there are two displays inside and by splitting up between uh, your eyes you get a 3D vi uh, visual uh, plugs into a computer and graphics via the uh, ports here on the top. And once you're in there, what's incredible is just how immersive it is. They started me out in kind of a launching room, which was almost like an amphitheater of, of app windows. And you can select, you know, you could in theory select each of those by reaching out and clicking with the controller. For the purpose of the demo, we stepped through a few different uh, scenes. So uh, one of them was a, uh, an underwater scene where you were stood on a ship that had obviously been shipwrecked. Uh, you're able to kind of walk up to the edge and look over the balcony, fishes and things come around, and a huge whale. You can get right up close and look at the eye. The resolution is pretty incredible. You know, you can get right up close to little fish, for instance, knock them around with the, the controller. It's, um, it's incredible. In a, another one of the demos, it was like a virtual paint set. And so with one controller, you, you've got a palette of different options. And again, it kind of opens up at the top with like, the color range and then different brushes and an undo tool. And with the other one, it's your kind of painting tool. And you can choose which color, choose what brush you want and then literally paint in 3D. So I was able to make, I don't know if you, you know, light drawings. So I could do that with my arm and then I can stand up and you can actually look around inside it and see what you've done and then follow things around. You can tuck your arm around where your hand has been and, and then drag it back through to kind of make sure you don't overlap. And in the final uh, version, you'll be able to actually save that and export it and share that with friends. Though at the moment, my, my beautiful artistic masterpiece has been lost. Um, and then another one, obviously this is made with Valve, and so there's a lot of characters from the Valve universe, like the robots for instance in Portal, um, and they walk you through a, um, a, a, a repair center for, uh, for robotics. So for instance, the, um, it instructs you to open up uh, different drawers and um, take out different tools. The expansion, uh, the robot kind of walks in and uh, you find yourself kind of stepping back to give it space and there are sparks kind of flying off. And even though you know that it's not real, that sense of virtual reality is so detailed and so involving that you know you, you still back away from it and then you have to kind of try and repair the robot don't do very well at all the walls are taken away it's kind of you realize you're still in a huge warehouse and there's definitely a sense of space there um, in another demo there was kind of a tabletop game for instance where you uh, you could get right up close and kind of put, poke your head up through a tabletop and see different characters kind of as they move around and little puffs of smoke and to the point where you, you felt like if you blew the smoke, I kept wanting to blow and kind of blow the battlefield smoke away, it's incredible. Um, so this is HTC Vive, I mean this is only the prototype at first, they've still have time to release it, there'll be a developer version and SDK. Um, it's kind of incredible. I mean, I, you know, I don't know what you feel about virtual reality, I've kind of always been a little bit on the fence myself, um, but that demo, you know, it, it was very impressive indeed, and this is an interesting product for HTC to branch out into. Uh, it's not a phone, it's not a tablet, it's not a wearable, well, it kind of is a wearable, but it's something really unusual, and they've had a big name partner involved in gaming. So, really interesting. We'll obviously have to see what kind of content comes up before we know whether it's going to be that commercial success, uh, and obviously the price tag as well, which will be uh, revealed later on in the year. But for the moment, excellent demo. I wish I could show you what I actually experienced. Um, uh, but HTC Vive.